Farina, right over there. She really is here all on her own. Uh -huh. <sighs> Should I just give up? This is all meaningless. What was meant to happen did happen after all. Everyone's dead. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Give up, Farina. There's no point in holding out. <sighs> I'm sorry. But what can I even do other than to repeat meaningless apologies over and over? <sighs> Who's that? Don't worry, Farina. It's just us. <laughs> so, it is you, blonde traveler from another land. Why, I almost thought you were someone from that mob of my ignorant subjects. Come to kneel and beg for my forgiveness. Farina, you were crying just now, weren't you? The tear stains on your face are obvious. Uh, what do you mean, tear stains? Uh, oh, <laughs> I remember. The show at the Opera House earlier this morning was so moving. I'm still trying to process it. <laughs> Who did that uncivilized rabble think they were? Disturbing my enjoyment of the arts. They even dare to doubt their archon. I must teach them a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine their twisted and frustrated faces once they realize that I'm nowhere to be found. Oh, and I'm sure Nouvellet and those people from the Marish so say Phantom are freaking out right next to them, too. <laughs> I... Uh, of course not. Hey, there she is. The Hydro Archon's over there. Quick, after her. Uh, Farina, those people seem to be after you. Uh, they are? <laughs> They're just some rabid fans who want to cut the line because they haven't been able to meet me in person, aren't they? Mm, that's against the rules. I can't let them get their way. Uh, Farina just ran off. Quick, we have to catch up with her. be the place, right? Hey, Farina! There's a good hiding spot over here. Quick, come to Paimon before the rest of them catch up to you. Uh, wh what? What is this place? Hurry, they're almost here! Fine, fine. I suppose haste is warranted. Lead the way. made some emergency plans, so the evacuation should go a lot smoother this time. Yeah, I hope you're right. But the people of Poisson, 
Leave already. It's true. I've been investigating the prophecy for hundreds of years. I once had informants all over to Vat, searching for clues and feeding information back to me. I've tried all kinds of ways, too, to hold back the sea. Anything to keep the coastline from advancing. But all my efforts proved to be futile in the end. Really, the truth has been clear to me for a very long time. We cannot make an enemy of the Divine. No matter what we do, the will of the Heavenly Principles will have its way, and the prophecy shall be fulfilled. <laughs> Give up. <sighs> I do love the sound of that phrase. It would mean finally coming to terms with fate, but also for me to finally be free. Indeed, I've thought about giving up so many times, especially after we almost lost Poisson. Fate is really unreasonable, isn't it? It has no heart and obeys no rules. The prophecy has only just started to come true, and so many people have already lost their lives. But just now, it all became clear to me. I still don't have the right to come to terms with fate on behalf of everyone else. As long as the final moment hasn't come, it's still not too late. Don't worry, I... I will keep hope alive for everyone until the very end. <sighs> well, that's enough for now. I got the impulse to play the stricken maiden. But honestly, considering my rank and station, that wasn't a good fit at all. <laughs> Don't take any of what I just said seriously. How could I possibly let Fontaine fall to the whims of trivial prophecy? Come on! Paimon could have sworn you were actually being honest just now. Share my burden. <sighs> That's impossible. It was fated right from the start that this would be my duty alone. A witness. Huh. Yes, I've heard that you came to Tevat from beyond the stars, yes. In other words, you never belonged here. And if Tevat is, in its entirety, a show on a stage, then you're just a spectator, aren't you? <sighs> if that's the case... I... Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes my opening performance. Now, without further ado, we may proceed to the trial of our god. Ah, so this is what it is. Yes, you deserve praise for the effort you took to raise the dramatic stakes. Do not forget, however, that I am Fosalor, the god of justice the embodiment of justice itself. Does it not strike you as even the least bit absurd to bring the very concept of justice to trial? <laughs> 